Population Introduction Population is an important resource for the country. The qualitative aspects of the population like literacy and life expectancy rates are important for a nation's economic and social progress. Population of India India's population is around 121 crores according to Census 2011. India is the second largest nation in terms of population and seventh largest in terms of area. India occupies only 2.41% of the land area, whereas it supports 17.5% of the world's population. India's average population density is 382 persons per square kilometer as per 2011 census. In India, population is very unevenly distributed. Physiography and climate of a region play an important role in the distribution of population. Due to the fertile and plain land and availability of water, human settlements have been established in these parts for many centuries. Due to farming, industries and trade and the proportion of population got concentrated in few places. For example, the northern plains include states of Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal and cities like Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai, Pune, Bengaluru, Chennai, etc. On the contrary, in mountainous hilly regions, dry desert areas, dense forest areas, density is sparse because of inaccessibility and absence of facilities like railways, roadways, fresh water supply, etc. and tough life. For example, states of Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Arunachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, etc. Let us now look at the advantages of population pattern of India. 1. Population of India is considered young as a larger proportion of population is in the children age group. 2. The proportion of working population, that is youth in India, is higher than dependent population, which is the total of very small children and older generations. 3. There is more or less balance in the proportion of male and female in all the age group. 4. India has shown improvement in the life expectancy and marginal decrease in the population growth rate. Population of Brazil Brazil's population is around 19 crores, according to census 2010. Brazil is the fifth largest nation in terms of both population and area. Brazil is the most populated country in the South American continent. Brazil occupies 5.6% of world's total land area and has 2.78% of world's total population. The density of population is around 23 persons per square kilometer. The distribution of population is very uneven in Brazil. The majority of Brazilians have concentrated within 300 kilometers of the eastern coastal areas, also called the coastal lowlands. Agriculture and industry have flourished well here. As a result, higher density of population is found here. On the other hand, the interior of the Amazon basin is very sparsely populated. Unfavorable climate, heavy rainfall, accessibility and dense forests are the barriers to development of human settlements here. Therefore, settlements occur only in few places in the Amazon basin. For example, Manaus. The central and western part of Brazil is less populated. The density of population in the highlands of Brazil is moderate. Let us now understand the advantages of the population pattern of Brazil. 1. Brazil has a very low population density of 23 persons per square kilometer. 2. Brazil has a favorable female sex ratio. 3. The proportion of working population, that is youth in Brazil, is high. 
Four, the high life expectancy rate in Brazil indicates the increasing socio-economic development of the country. Five, 92.6 percent of the total population of Brazil is literate. Comparative study of population of India and Brazil. One, in terms of population, India ranks second and Brazil ranks fifth. Two, India's sex ratio has been adverse towards female population, whereas Brazil has favorable female sex ratio. Three, average population density in India is 382 people per square kilometer and population density in Brazil is only 23 people per square kilometer. Four, according to census 2011, population growth rate in India was 1.4% whereas it was 0.4% in Brazil according to census 2000. Five, life expectancy rate in India was 68 years compared to 75 years in Brazil for the year 2016. 6. India has a larger working population compared to Brazil. 7. In the year 2016, India's literacy rate was 72.2%, whereas Brazil's literacy rate was 92.6%. Let us try out a few activities first. Observe this image and we will tackle a few questions on it. Each of these signs is equal to 100 people. 1. Calculate the population of density of B. Answer. The population density of B is 1800 per square kilometer. 2. Now you try to calculate the population density of A. Answer. The population density of A is 700 per square kilometer. 3. Compare and classify the population densities shown in the squares A and B representing 1 square kilometer of area. Answer. The population density of A is 700 persons per square kilometer and that of B is 1800 persons per square kilometer. We can say that area A is sparsely populated and B is densely populated. 4. What is the sex ratio of the area B? Answer. In area B, the sex ratio will be 1000 females as compared to 800 males. Thus, the female outnumber male population. What does this graph show? Answer. This graph shows the age and sex of population. It is also known as population pyramid. Two, what is it used for? Answer, it is used to study the age and sex related aspects of a region's population. Three, does that mean we can know the number of percentage of various age groups of males and females in our country? Answer, yes of course. This helps us to know the proportion of children, youth and the old people in our country. Third, let us first understand the importance of life expectancy rate. Increase in life expectancy is an indicator of development of that society. Improvement in medical facilities, progress in medical field, access to nutritious food leads to an increase in average life expectancy. In most of the developing countries, life expectancy is still less. But with socio-economic development, it is increasing. 1. What do these graphs show? Answer. These graphs show the life expectancy of Brazil and India. 2. What is life expectancy? Answer. Life expectancy means the average number of years a person born in a country is expected to live. 3. What is the average life of an Indian according to 2016? Answer. The average life of an Indian is 68 years. 4. What is average age of a Brazilian? Answer. The average age of a Brazilian is 75 years. 4. 1. What is the strikingly contrasting point between the literacy rate of India and Brazil? Answer. The highest literacy rate recorded by India is 72.2% in the year 2016, 
whereas the lowest literacy rate of Brazil is 74.6% in the 1981. 2. In which year India has seen a drastic change in literacy rate? Answer. In the year 2001, India recorded a 60% literacy rate from 48% a decade ago. 3. Which country is growing at a faster rate? Why do you think so? Answer. Brazil is growing at a faster rate as the literacy rate is as high as 92.8%. 4. Do you think the literacy rate and population growth rate are related to each other? Justify with the facts. Answer. Yes. The literacy rate determines the population growth rate. For example, population growth has been declining due to educated and aware population. Whereas in India, the population growth rate is still higher due to low literacy rate, which has led to low awareness about advantages of small size of the family.